Hey everybody, Dimble Weebs again, and today we're going to be looking at how to upload our finally finished player model uh, to the Steam Workshop, which shouldn't actually take too long. It's probably one of the more simple parts of this tutorial. But like I said, I'm not going to be done with all my tutorials after this one. I still have some more to do. All right, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to go find your finished player model folder which should be in your Gary's Mod add-ons folder. That's where we left it right here, vector player model. So we're just going to copy that and put it in our GMPU folder. All right, so go ahead and start GMPU. So the first thing you want to do in the GMPU is check the create button. Not create GMA, just create. And over here on file or folder, you want to click folder and browse to your GMPU folder where you just put your finished player model. And there it is. So I'm going to just click on vector player model and click open. Now, one thing that you'll need to do if you want to look professional is have an icon. Now, usually you could get banned if we don't have an icon because it's just very fishy looking so I really suggest you do that and I don't actually I think uh, not having an icon isn't even allowed so alright so first you want to make an icon which is pretty easy all you have to do is make an icon for whatever your model is and make it 512 by 512 I'll be doing a really quick example of that alright so here's what I want my icon to be for my player model now this doesn't really make much sense, but since this is just for tutorial purposes, it doesn't really matter what picture I use. Alright, so first you want to make a new image after you open the one that you want to use as your icon. I'm using paint.net by the way. And just make it 512 by 512 pixels. This is how big 512 by 512 is. But first thing we need to do is get our picture that we want to use as the icon over there. So first you want to just select it, click copy, go back to the 512 and zoom out a decent amount because the picture is going to be kind of big when we paste it in and we need to see the buttons um, to resize it. So go ahead and paste it in, keep canvas size and just drag and adjust until it looks just the way you want it. So I'm just going to save this as a JPEG and just name it whatever you want. And in GMPU, under icon, click load. Find our icon we just made and click open. There we go. Alright, the next thing you need to fill out is the addon.json and Basically, this is just really simple. You just want to put in the title of what your, you want your add-on file to be named. I'm just going to name mine vector PM and type. I'm going to put model. Make sure to be accurate with the type that you choose for whatever it is. And tags. I'm just going to put roleplay and movie because it looks like something out of Matrix. Now that that's done, click Add to Queue, and click Execute. Alright, so after you hit Execute, you just want to let it load for a while, and Creation OK, finished running queue. So once it says that, you can go ahead and X out of GMPU, and go to Steam. After you go to Steam, click on your profile name up above, and click Profile. Scroll down until you see Workshop Items on the side, and click it. Here's what I just posted. Now, as you can see, the title and the description is the default. So if you want to change it, you click on Edit Title and Description, where you can change the title and the description. You also want to add some more screenshots, so you go ahead and click on add it, add slash edit images and videos to add that, but I won't be showing how to do all the rest because it is 
very basic and it's pretty much just like updating your Facebook page. The one thing that you want to do though once you have finished editing this is subscribe to it and run it in Gary's Mod. Make sure that everything's working. After you make sure everything's working, come back to the workshop page and click Change Visibility and put it to public. That way people can actually see it and download it. But since I did not make this add-on, it would probably get taken down instantly. And since I didn't even do a good job, I don't want it on the workshop. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. So that's it for uploading to Steam. It's pretty basic. Um, in the next video, I'll be showing how to edit VTFs and VMTs so that you can change the texture of your model and add color to it or change the color or add pictures to it or whatever you want. Basically editing the textures. Um, and that will be the next tutorial. And that should come very soon. See you in the next video.